Well, welcome back to the homestead. In today's episode, I want to see about installing this tub in the upstairs bathroom. And uh, the tub I've chosen is a Briggs Pendant Plus. It's a 16 inch deep steel porcelain line tub. And the way that these work are on the front side of the tub, you've got a, a finished uh, metal flange that comes down that rests on the floor to support the weight of the tub. And then on the back of the tub, you've got this metal flange. So where this butts up to the wall, you just attach a support board that this metal flange can rest on top of. And once you've got it where the tub can rest on the, the flange and the front skirt and be level, then you pull your tub back out of the opening and you mix up a mud bed and you put the tub back in press it into the mud bed, make sure it's resting on the support board and on the front flange and everything's level. And then once that mud bed dries, it's secured into place. And then the mud bed will support the weight of the bottom of the tub. So let's go ahead and see if we can get started on it. So the first thing we're gonna do is just wrestle this tub into the uh, opening and get it into position. Now that I've got the tub in place and I put a level on it, I can see that the back side of the tub here is a little bit too low. So what I'm going to do is go around and shim the bottom of the tub up until it's level. And then I'll mark the studs at the underside of this flange. So when I pull the tub out, I've got a mark for where to put that support board at. So let's go ahead and do that. So when I put the tub in place to level it, I noticed a problem. The tub is touching these two studs, but I'm almost a quarter inch away from the uh, studs on the two end. And the reason is not that my wall is bowed, but rather that this flange on the back of the tub is not straight. So it, the flange is leaning out just a little bit where these studs are. And I'm afraid if I tried to bend that flange back at a 90 degree like it's supposed to be, more than likely I would crack the porcelain finish on it. So what I'm going to do, rather than try and correct that flange, I mark these studs where the flange comes up to. And when I pull the tub out, I'm just going to notch these two studs a little bit 
so that the tub will sit flush against the wall. So when I pull it out to put that support board in, I'm going to notch those two studs also. So now that I've got the tub in place and it'll rest on this front skirt and the rear flange on that support board, uh, we're ready to pull the tub out. I'll go ahead and put the drain valve in the tub and then we'll mix up a mud bed for the bottom of the tub, which is four parts sand and one part cement. Uh, we'll put that down under the tub, then we'll push the tub back into it until it's level, sitting on the front skirt and on this back flange and let that dry and the tub will be installed. Let's go ahead and pull it out and get that drain foot put in. So I've already got the overflow portion of the drain installed. Now I need to put the, the foot valve into the bottom of the tub uh, where the water comes out. So <clears throat> the type valve I'm using is just the uh, press open, press close. So uh, it's open to allow the water out. And you push it, it seals off to uh, let you fill the tub up. You push it again, it reopens. So to install the valve, we're just going to screw this uh, center piece out, set that to the side, and then the strainer portion of it threads out of this 90, and there's a rubber washer that's on that. That'll go on the bottom side of the tub, and then we'll put a uh, bead of plumber putty around this flange here. You just roll out a bead of that, kind of like Play-Doh, and then wrap it around the valve. So that you just have a, a bead of it around the, the bottom of the valve. Now that goes to the inside of the tub, and that'll probably be way too much, and the excess will just come out, Then we'll wipe that off once it's in. So then, insert that through the, the drain of the tub. You'll put the uh, washer on it and then we'll thread the elbow onto that. We want to make sure the elbow is aligned uh, vertically there. Then we'll just take a pair of needle nose pliers and stick it in the strainer and twist that until it's tight. So you can see this putty just squeezed out from around that strainer. So you just wipe that off. You can put that back in your container for the next job. All right, so now that the uh, overflow and the drain are both installed in the tub, you would normally go ahead and connect the two with your tailpiece kit, and that would just look like this. And you would just use your uh, regular pipe glue to uh, put that in place. Unfortunately, my can of cement's under the house, uh, where I was working on some of the plumbing. So I'm going to glue this up at a later time, but I still have access to the front of the tub even after the tub's installed. 
most applications, once your tub's installed, you don't have access to this, so you would go ahead and do it now. But for me, uh, I'm going to pull this out, and the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and mix up the mud bed and then see about getting the tub set into place. All right, so I'm ready to mix the mud up now, and uh, I'm just going to mix it up in this small plastic tote. Uh, it's a four-to-one mix uh, from Mappi, four parts sand to one part cement. Uh, it comes in a 55-pound bag, and you add three to four quarts of water to it, depending on how wet you want your mix. So I'm going to go ahead and mix that up now, and then we'll put it on the floor and see about setting the tub in it. All right, so now that I got the mud bed mixed up, uh, I traced an outline where the bottom of the tub went on the floor. And I'm just going to take this mud and I'm going to stack it onto the floor a little bit higher than what the tub is so that when we set the tub in place, it'll actually press down into it. And then once it sets up, the tub will be firmly seated. So now that the mud's down, let's go ahead and see if we can set the tub into it. All right, so the tub is sitting on the, the wooden support and it's set into the bed of mortar now. What I want to do is just go around and uh, push the cement up next to it and make sure that the bed is secured. So now that the tub is set into the bed of mortar, it can't go down, but it could still go up. So what I'm going to do is just take a couple of roofing nails and put over the top flange. So uh, you just put it right at the top of the flange and nail it in so that the head of the roofing nail overlaps the flange. 
and you have to be careful not to hit the flange of the tub because you don't want to crack the porcelain. All right, so here hopefully you can see the, uh, the roofing nails that I put in are just above the flange of the tub and then the head actually overlaps the flange. If you tried to actually put those through the flange of the tub, you'd crack your porcelain finish and you don't want to do that. So now when the uh, Durasand gets put on the walls, that'll come down, it'll actually overlap this flange and come down to the top of the tub and then it'll get a caulk there. So that, that nail will be covered up by the Durasand that holds the tile. So. All right, so as far as installing the tub, that's about it. Uh, once that mortar bed dries, uh, the tub will be ready to support the weight of the water and the person in it. And uh, now I can work on finishing hooking up the drain and putting the faucet in. So that's going to be a different episode though. So uh, till then, y'all keep checking back.